Some years ago, I used to be stressed with my financial situation. Although I was earning more than now, more than enough, what happened was I was so comfortable and I was so confident about my income. Then I started spending more. In the beginning, it was okay. But after a year, then it started affecting me. And this was the time I had forgotten to implement the Japanese concept of kakeibo. Kakeibo literally means house, ka means household or house, home. K is calculation and bo is leisure. So this is actually it literally means household financial journal. What we do is basically to record every day what we spend and what we have earned as well. So then it is like, I think if you are in a financial world or if you're running company, this is quite normal to budget and also to record all the spendings and all the income. So this also in Japan implement in our daily life. For example, this was also part of females' responsibility to take care of household spending. So this method, kakeibo, was introduced in 1904 by a Japanese first female journalist. And this is about how mindfully we take care of our finance situation. And also, I have learned this from what my mother did and also at school as well. There was a class for learning how to manage our house. So finance is really important part of our life. If we don't have a peace with our money, it gives us stress. And in Japan, we have our necessity. It's divided as e shoku ju means e is clothing, something to wear, something to protect us. Shok is to eat and ju house, the roof on us. So these are the most essentials. And for example, many years ago, when our money was more in cash and not in uh, digital, when my father received the income, she, he gives everything to my mother and my mother budget for what we need. And this is not only my mother, but it's mostly in the past. I think the recent rates may be changed, but in the past, it was a female's job a responsibility to take care of the total finance. So my uh, she put budget for food and necessity and then something not necess necessity, then education, entertainment, and for the rainy days. So that was the, the four parts of uh, our expenses. And that is part of uh, what is mentioned in Kakebo as well. So although my father is the earner, but he gives all money to my mother and he received pocket money. That was part of the budgeting as well, like us as well. So of course, uh, there is a discussion. We decide, of course, my mother decides everything together with my father, what to spend and with discussions, but then it's in a mutual agreement. Anyway, so budgeting is very important. I still remember the notebook. She kept everything. So she puts she journaled every item that she, she spent, not in so much details. Maybe the food was just the food and then uh, house and groceries. Uh, and then uh, what was the income and what was the uh, other source of income as well. So then she makes analysis and she makes budget for the next month. Then in this way, when she needs it to increase the savings, then she can say, well, okay, maybe I cut this part. Maybe I cut this. So then there is a way to increase the saving. So another thing that was really peaceful was we know how much we can spend for something. So never felt luck. So I had also my own pocket money. And as a child in Japan, we learn it's actually children's finance book. So I used to have a little book and very pretty with some cartoons and some illustrations. Then I had to record what pocket money I have received from who and what I spent for. And as a child, it was fun. And at the end of the month, 
I calculate how much profit or how much I have. Then I match with the cash I count. So money was, it was some kind of, it was not play, but something that was a big part of life. And I learned also how to, how to keep my eyes on money. But being living in Europe and started having more, and then I was too busy with earning and I forgot or I did not pay much attention to、uh, journaling. And that caused a problem. So the problem was that、uh, I was not also, although I was making money, but I didn't feel I was earning enough. It's good to feel like, okay, I want to make more money. That's okay. But then if it started becoming stress and if it started spending more money than earning, and that is a problem. So basically, I think most people, in somehow, I think we make journals of finance and the and budgeting, which is quite common, I think, everywhere in the world. And what's something special about Japanese kakeibo is really categorizing and also analyzing, and it becomes a bit like play. It's like a game to increase more. In savings or、uh, investments. So, if you want to save, like if you have a target at the end of the year,、uh, how much you want to、uh, save. For example, you want to go on holiday or you want to buy something big or some anything that you need to save, or maybe just to save、uh, for the deposit of buying a house or anything. So, Then, if we just try to put money whenever we receive, it does not really work. It really works to target. And if we budget our monthly spending, then we put specific amount to save every single month and budgeting. So then we don't feel、uh, kind of deprived or we don't feel that we cannot feel. We cannot spend money, and with this budgeting, you still feel peaceful and enjoyable, but then still saving. How do I do? So, my budgeting. Okay, first of all, I have two bank accounts. Well, a couple of bank accounts, but I divide into two bank accounts. One bank account, I put money, income, and receiving income, or my incoming money, and then、uh, for the necessities. Uh, rent or mortgage or groceries, electricity, all the necessities, the basic that I need to use. And then the second bank account is not necessities. So it means, like, within my expenses budget, I have one、uh, fixed cost for my living, then variable, but then I put, for example, my transportation, and because I don't have a car, I also put budget for Uber. So every month I have certain amount that I can spend for taking Uber. So I don't feel bad to spend money on taxi, for example, or Uber. You might feel, oh, maybe it's expensive, but no, because instead of car, I have this budget for taking Uber taxi、uh, for when it is necessary. So I don't feel bad to take、um, Uber. Then I have Some budgeting for my clothes or some pleasure, and also having tea and dinner with friends. So, then there are certain、uh, elements that I can use for myself. So, it's not necessities, but it is important for living to keep our life joyful. So, you can also put The, I also put money for books and also like other cultural expenses, like going to the concert, going to、uh, events, and etc. Museums. So, this is the, you, I think it's personal, and you can also divide what you feel good to do that. Then we have a saving. So, if you have the A、target to save money until a certain moment, then you can actually allocate some amount and then investment. 
So saving can be with some certain uh, period of time and the investment can be more fixed every month uh, to accumulate something and then invest that when you have certain amount of money. So then four different categories. Then the most important thing is to review every month how I am doing and if I can improve. And also percentage of money. So I calculate um, how much money, uh, how much percentage I want to put. So if you want to save more, then the percentage proportion of my not necessary expenses can go down, but still make it comfortable. So then you have a certain control of what's happening. So you feel really, I feel really peace when I do that. And the, also we can go more details or also if you have, if you don't have much time, then just make it more general. So then this brings peace and also because of the budgeting and we feel enough money to spend for everything. Doesn't matter if you have very high income or very low income. Your budget is uh, control, in control, under control, so um, you feel peace. And you can still uh, enjoy and you can still save. And I have also one account that I use only, I, I have two different bank accounts and I use one for necessities, one is not necessity, so I know how much when I see my bank account, uh, I know how much I can still spend and I maybe, oh, maybe I have to stop here. So overall, very quick overview, I, I get it. So then, of course, Excel file I use as well, but you can also use just normal notebook or uh, the way you feel comfortable. So this is also part of my, uh, how I manage financial life and how I bring more peace in my life from finance because that's important. It's not just feeling peace uh, you know, in the uh, daily living, but also we need to manage and we need to help ourselves. So this is also part of my uh, uh, life, the subject that I include in life coaching. And uh, we have four weeks, I have four weeks uh, programs. And if you like to uh, participate or if you like to have private session, uh, please contact uh, via email office at azumijitan.com. And if you have other way uh, in your culture or in your country or in your own uh, idea, how to make your finance management more fun and please share below in contact and uh, in comments. Thank you very much and see you next time.